Welcome to Smacky's Garage. This week we're going to be changing out the front brakes on our 2018 F-150. Last week we did the rear brakes, now we're moving on to the front. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the front brakes this week. Unlike the rear, you don't have to deal with electronic parking brake. So it should be pretty simple enough that we can get the car jacked up. After it gets jacked up, we'll end up taking the wheel off. Then we're going to remove the caliper, hang the caliper. We're going to take off the brake pads. And then unlike the rear, we actually have to take off the caliper bracket, which is typically a lot harder to get off because I think the bolts are torqued down at about 180 plus foot pounds. So we're gonna see where we can get with that. I like to remove the brake cylinder cap to make sure that as I'm pushing any of the calipers back that the fluid can flow back up and there's no pressure in the system. Now that we have that, let's go ahead and we'll jack the car up and get it up on jack stands and take the wheel off. Now, if you see your lug nuts start to get stuck inside of your tool, that means they're most likely starting to expand. And when they kind of break apart, it's a good time to replace them. So I'm probably about the point where I should replace these. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna remove the two caliper bolts. So the caliper bolts are gonna be this one here, this one here. It's what the caliper, it's what the caliper will slide on inside of the bracket. So I'm gonna go ahead and take those out with a 13 millimeter. So the caliper bolts are in there typically pretty tight, but as soon as you break them free, they just come right up. And we're gonna go ahead and take the caliper off. Now with the caliper off, and take a look at the pads. Yeah, the pads don't actually look as worn as the back were, but it's a good time to replace them. You can see the back one's worn more than the front. Easier to do if you have a breaker bar, but they weren't in there that bad. Now, when we put these back on, we need to make sure that they're torqued up right. One of the other things that I'm noticing is as I'm pulling this off, the rotor's actually free, which is good. That means it's not stuck to the hub. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna inspect the caliper bracket. First thing I noticed is we have one that's moving freely. This one is not. So we're probably gonna have to work on freeing it up. If we can't free it up, we might have to replace it or clean it out. Now, this is gonna cause me a little bit of delay. I think if you see in there, it's completely corroded. So not only do I need to get this out, but I think I'm just gonna replace this entire bracket. Now that we see here this one is moving, this one is not, we're going to try to free this one up by slowly rotating it, see if we can get it to move at all. Now unfortunately 
they don't have the brackets available local to me. I'm gonna check Ford tomorrow because today's a Sunday. I'm also gonna check AutoZone, see if they have anything around. This is kind of what happens when you're working on cars. Things break, you need to wait, you need to find the parts, and you need to put it back together. All right, so I, I ended up heating the bracket and getting it apart. Everything is looking well. So I took a minute, I replaced the clips that were in here for the brake pads, and I went to Ford, and I actually got the Ford repair kit for the guide pins for the calipers, because might as well replace them with something new that aren't rusted. So both of them look good. It goes in nice and smooth. Unlike other caliper pins I've seen in the past, these actually have a rubber bushing kind of most of the way down. And when you buy the kit, it also comes with the correct grease to fill this. So what I'm gonna do, per the instructions, it says put one third of this packet of grease inside of each hole. Let's see. How are you get in the hole? So that's probably about a one third. So these, here's the new one. I'm just gonna slide it in. Moves nice. Gonna do the next one. So one third the packet. Now cutting it at an edge like this makes it easy to get in. Okay, so with these, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna replace it, I'm gonna put the new boot on it, pull the boot over it, and then pull it together. Just double check. Okay, now that both of these together are together, these flat spots need to go parallel. So I'm gonna put these parallel per the instructions, and then I'm gonna add some grease to both sides here, 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 and here to get ready for the pads. I'm not gonna put the pads on until I get the, the bracket back on the car. And then for these bolts here, we're actually gonna replace them with new ones. You're only supposed to use these one time, I believe. So I got some new ones from AutoZone. I'm gonna go ahead and put those on. Back to the car. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna compress the caliper to two pistons. And what I like to do is I like to use the brake pad that came with it. Now, you can use a C-clamp like this and compress it or you can use a specially made tool for it i'm going to use the specially made tool for it and then clamp it down Now you can see we are completely compressed all the way in. We can go ahead and we can put the caliper bracket back on, torque that down and get the caliper back on. Now we're gonna to have to put the caliper bracket in place and tighten it down. But first I'm gonna get the rotor on there as it is required before. There. So with that on and in place, now I can put the caliper bracket on and then tighten it down to the 184 foot pounds that it's supposed to be torqued to. One, two. Okay, with both of those in, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grease up the brackets here without getting on the rotor. And then I'm gonna put the brake pads in. Now that we have both those on, I'm gonna take the caliper and I'm gonna set it over the pads I should just slide right over cool now with the kit that I got from Ford it actually comes with new caliper pin screws so I'm also going to put those on then ch check your shop manual to see what the torque is supposed to be um, I found different locations have different numbers. So make sure you find what's what's correct for your application. That's one. Two. Okay. Well, the passenger side went a lot easier than the driver's side. The slides and everything were 
free, moving well. I was able to just re-grease them, put it back together, and that's it. Thanks for tuning in to Smackies Garage this week. I'll see you next week.